Yo, what's going on guys, Eric here back with a Dribble the Burgers video, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the new rank system announcement that they did during the special uh, first anniversary live stream. Uh, I did not expect this. Uh, this was something I've been asking for for a very, very long time, just because I think the biggest issue that Breakers has is that they come hard and heavy pause at the beginning of the season with uh the new raider the new map it's really new survivor skins new transfers new skills every like a lot of new stuff to play around but after you play around with that it's a month of nothing and then we get new transfers and then a month of nothing and then new transfers and a month of nothing and new transfers and then maybe a season delay and then a month of nothing and it's just like it, it, there's just too many dry spells in dragon ball the breakers but the fact that there's going to be a rank system now kind of changes everything so the way they uh describe it is that there's going to be uh five tiers uh per the different letterings here with the highest rank being z so there is z uh five and then you start at c one so you go c one two three four five then you hit b and then uh b one two three four five then you hit a a one two three four five then you hit s and then uh s one two three four five then you hit z and then the highest uh thing you can get in z is five and it looks like uh, your ranking will increase based on your medal so uh people are going to be playing uh sweatier than ever i don't know if they really specified whether there's going to be a separate uh queuing system for ranked it really just seems like oops as i was saying it really just seems like the rank kind of just applies to the current queue that we have but uh, let, let's let's see what they say here. I'm gonna like not go over the subtitles. Let me turn the volume up so you guys can hear them talking. Long-awaited ranking system is probably scheduled to be in season four. Goddamn straight. Goddamn right. Let me turn the music off for now. So let's see how they uh, describe it. Starting from C1 and working up to the highest rank C5. Very, very cool. There are uh, five ranks, uh, tiers, 25 stages in total, and you can move out through the rank according to result rating uh, of the online matches. So basically, what that is confirming, what that is confirming, is that you will be ranking up via uh, typical online matches as usual. So what all this basically means the medals won't just determine the amount of rewards you'll get at the end of the match, but they'll also uh, determine the uh, amount of rank that you'll get at the end of the match as well. Uh, I know some people might be upset by this. This might, you know, uh, make players sweat more. Uh, this might, like, decrease the amount of fun, I guess, matches can be. But I'll be completely honest with you guys. I understand where people are coming from with that. But at the end of the day, I think this game needs something for players to grind for. for something to aspire to achieve the only thing we really had to grind for in this game were events which are kind of lame in my opinion and zenny and nothing not, there's nothing fun about spending five hours to get 150,000 zenny just to get shafted bro at least with this they'll show in a second we are guaranteed rewards based on your placement uh in these rankings so let's go ahead and pause and see what they are or unpause let's go ahead and move right along here so if you reach the z rank you will get an orange shirt uh with a uh, z rank um i don't know if they will distribute rewards based on the t tiers lower than z and it doesn't seem like it's something like legends where you have to be in the top 1000 it seems like as long as you're consistently you know getting diamonds and golds you'll probably hit like z5 i think everybody can hit z5 it's not like if you hit z5 you knock somebody else out it really just seems like it's based on your performance right so uh, they don't really specify uh otherwise right so uh this is what you get just hitting z rank so even if you just get z1 at the bare minimum um you'll get that shirt but if you hit z5 you will get this shirt and best believe i will be rocking this shirt because i will be hitting z5 baby uh but no this shirt actually looks really sick uh i will admit this shirt kind of looks kind of meh kind of looks like you know when you go to the boardwalk and you see like those shirts like with characters on it but it looks like they just put a google image on the shirt because they totally did they're trying to sell it for like 30 dollars 
uh, that kind of looks like exactly what they're doing here. So uh, unfortunately, this shirt doesn't really look that hot. Hopefully they improve for just like the Z uh, shirts. And it would honestly be nice to give shirts for the other tiers. Just, you know, just for the casual players out there. But I guess to start saying how there's casuals and like tryhards for breakers. I mean, I guess there kind of always have been. But now that there actually is a ranking system, we really do need to start differentiating between the two. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm kind of hyped for this. But I know some people are going to be a little uh, uneasy. The fact that there is going... I put on only plays video oops give me a sec shout out to only plays anyways um i think beyond that that's kind of all they really touched upon for ranked uh we're just gonna see if they mention anything else here but i think they kind of just move right along after that uh as a note season four will only have a pre-ranked match huh え、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ、ほえ